The ulama, they say Allah created the, the hidden on the human being on the mother's womb. You know, when, when you when you fight with your wife, your son already knows. When you talk, they already they already adapting some information. And they did some psycholo psychologists, they did some tests on, on the toddlers. Toddlers means like one year. And they found that they know, they, they distinguish between good and evil. And they are one year. Don't do anything. And when you don't do anything evil, try to do something righteous. Try to talk to him in a nice way. That's one thing. And uh, Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, we are getting to the end. Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan is not a hadith. Many people think it's a hadith, but Muawiyah, which is very powerful uh, tip. He says, when you have a son, he says, لَاعِبْهُ سَبْعَ لَاعِبْهُ سَبْعَ وَأَدِّبْهُ سَبْعَ وَصَاحِبْهُ سَبْعَ He says, play with him seven years. Many people, they force their children to memorize the Quran when he's one year, two years, two years, three years. The ulama, they say, this, the Imam Malik was asked, can I make it an obligation on my son to teach him the Quran before seven? He says, no. He says, you are destroying their childhood. Unless he is naturally wants. This is the difference. But the Prophet ﷺ, he says, Muru abna'akum bisalati wa hum abna'u sab'in wadribuhum wa hum abna'u ashara. He says, command your, so it means command your children to do salat when they are seven. Let, well, I'm going to explain to you this. Command your children to make salat when they are seven. Look at the word seven. He didn't say six. The Prophet knows the number. He knows the difference between seven and he knows that there'll be five and four. Many people, they force their children. Oh, wait, well, he's four. I says, let them play. Imam, Imam Malik, he says, let them play. The Prophet, وسلم, when he sees young children like this, like this, like, if they sit by themselves and quiet and like, they, they are happy, so that let them. They will come and pray to you, next to you, let them. Let them, don't tell them no. Let them pray. But don't command him until he's seven. Because you have three years to command. From seven to... What? To 10. You know what is three years? The ulama, I didn't have the calculation how many salat. Now you tell him, come to pray. When he becomes seven, he, you, need, you have to come pray. But don't, don't beat him. Don't spank him. Don't discipline. Just tell, this command, come and next to me. Pray next to me when he's seven. Before seven, don't say nothing. If he comes stand next to you, you leave him alone. That's natural. They will do. Because remember what we say, al atfanu the children, they learn by their eyes at the beginning. They learn by them. So, so Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, he says, لَاعِبُ Play with them. At the moment of playing, you are educating. You are educating. The Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Like Luqman alayhi salam said to his son, Oh my beautiful son, يَا بُنَيَّ Do not associate partners with Allah. That's going to be until he becomes whatever. And then he says, adibhu adab. You have to teach him to be honest. You have to teach him not to lie, not to steal. And keep him, teach him the, the, the akhlaq and moral character. Adab, when he's seven, from seven, you teach him the Quran. When he becomes seven, he wants to memorize, you take him to. And if you cannot do this discipline, the ulama, even ulama before, they used to hire others. There is someone who can teach certain signs, but he cannot discipline the children. You know what they do? They spend their own money and they take their children to some discipliner, to someone who can discipline your children if you cannot do it. Allah will not make it obligation to know everything. You may not know, but you have money to spend for your son to be disciplined by someone else. Even ulama, scholars, that they don't have time to discipline their own children. I mean, time with them, they will send them to discipliner. They will send them to a sheikh or to someone who can and pay him. Discipline my son and teach him my son. I think uh, time is coming. Oh my God. But anyway, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again, the dua is the main thing. You, responsible, teach yourself, uh, look for the righteous person because that's, that's the main thing. And then also, uh, keep, keep doing And then the last thing I was going to say Which is I'm close with this closely Is if nothing ha Which I said at the beginning If the result was not as you expected 
Number one, when win situation is to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't blame, oh, it's him. I did all my job. No. Say, ya Allah, it's my fault and on and on. But we have an example in the Quran from Nuh alayhi salam. That Nuh alayhi salam, he spent 950 years calling his children, calling, calling, and didn't happen. But this is, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا ودرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون سلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير